studying and memorization have always been foundational to the educational process. However, in the early 1970s, mechanical engineering students at MIT were introduced to a new method of learning when Woody Flowers created the first hands-on, robotics competition-focused class known then as Course 270. In this class, students were given identical bags of junk, as Woody called them, consisting of little more than cardboard tubes, rubber bands, sprockets, and a couple of motors. Using these items, the students were challenged to design and build a robot to complete a specific task. Weeks of lecture, combined with hands-on design, then culminated in an end-of-the-semester robotics competition. By going beyond the lectures and theories, Woody Flowers gave his students a chance to put their lessons in action in a collaborative way. This gracious and professional approach to competition provided an opportunity for students not only to learn and compete, but to do so in an encouraging manner. With exciting new challenge parameters every year, this course quickly became one of MIT's most iconic and beloved classes. The competition is still one of the most highly attended events at the Institute, and is informally known as the school's true homecoming game. This unique class marked the beginning of competitive robotics as we know it. Over the next 40 years, this original idea spurred the creation of numerous robotics competitions, including BattleBots, Best, First, RoboWars, the VEX Robotics Competition, and many more. His passion has ignited a movement among students, teachers, and businesses, driving them to shape our culture for the betterment of all. My shorthand way of thinking about the higher level thinking is gracious professionalism, uh, which is a wonderful combination of a word that has something to do with empathetic response to others, being gracious. Professionalism has to do with your obligation to return to society what society has given you. Society has given you knowledge, understanding of the world. So when you give back, you should do it in a way that creates no victims. About 40 years ago, when I started thinking about this stuff, I had no way to imagine that I would show up in a place where there's tens of thousands of people having a big time doing this stuff and it looks as though the tip of the iceberg is becoming the whole iceberg and the tipping point may have been reached. We may in fact be about to change culture.